Oh, hey, guys. Dang, the crowd looks really packed tonight. I'm feeling a little bit nervous now. Yes, it does. But don't worry about that. You got this. After all, I did train you. Yeah, I know, Dad. Thanks for, you know, I'm just, like I said, this is my first match. You know, that's going to be on TV. And again, thanks for getting me this opportunity to hear Lucha Libre Mundial. I know the owner owed you a favor, but I don't know. I'm just nervous because the crowd, it's, I mean, it's, it's bigger than the five people at our school. And on top of that, I mean, this guy, I keep hearing about him, that vice guy. I mean, he's he's a very old school guy. So, I... Like I said, Jose, you got this. So just go out there, feel the crowd, and enjoy the moment. Just remember, you are a Carter. So just like you can't outsmart the brain, you can't outsmart a Carter. <laughs> All right, then. Thanks, though. Um, I'm going to get going now, guys. I'm going to go get ready for my entrance and just give myself a pep talk. Uh, whenever I'm, I'm done, you guys are going to be here, right? Right after my match. Y'all are going to stay. Y'all aren't going to leave? Of course, son. We'll both be right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lucha Libre Mundial. I'm Luis Martinez, and I am here bringing you this main event of Lucha Libre Mundial. That is right. It is a debuting Jose Carter going up against an opponent from the United States of America. Davas y Caballeros. Esta lucha es programado por un otoño y es el evento principal de la noche. Primero de San Luis Potosí, México, pesando hoy a 235 libras. Él es el dragón de América, José Carter. And although he's representing his Mexican roots here tonight, Jose Carter is the American Dragon. But someone who is also an American and is actually representing it here tonight is this man right here. He's with the Memphis. It's San Antonio, Texas, and it's a starting from the day. It's on the 141 Libra. El es el rebelde del norte, Tommy Vice. And those who, those who didn't understand the announcer, he is the rebel of the north, that veteran, the man who is proclaimed as the baddest mother effort in the planet. Tommy Vice, a junior veteran, like I said, going up against a rookie, Jose Carter. And as many of you know, Jose Carter is the son of one of the, the best, if not the best wrestlers right now, Brian DeBrain Carter. Brian DeBrain Carter, who got his start in Puerto Rico and has made his name all over the world, including here in Mexico, having some excellent matches against Cinta de Oro, against... El, el Demonio and also against El Rey Demonio I mean this kid's got a lot to do to everybody here tonight and right now he needs to change the story because he's he's being taken over by Tommy Vice and a strike getting out of that and a kick to the and then a, a really hard right to the back of the neck and a DT down now taunting Jose Carter, and as I, as I was mentioning, I'm sorry, Jose Carter is the son of Brian DeBrain Carter, and this debut tonight probably means a lot to him considering the fact that he's here in his home's, home country, you know, mother being from Mexico, of course, and of course Brian being from Puerto Rico, and has got him in that, that hold, and Jose Carter getting out of that. You know, damaging himself too in that process and look at the strikes by Jose Carter and not going up to the, tur the top turnbuckle and looking to fly here which is what we love to see here at Lucha Libre Mundial we love to see the agility of uh, Luchadors and the high flying maneuvers that they bring to the table 
and Tommy Weiss using that 15 years of veteran status to his advantage and recognizing what he was going for and the pin wasn't even counted even go past two. Stretching ahead and ooh, what a dirty tactic by Tommy Weiss. And this is why he is known as the Rebel of the North for doing maneuvers such like that to the, all the luchadors here in Lucha Libre Mundial. And oh, to the turnbuckle. The crowd stretching. Oh my goodness, what a shot by Tommy Vice. My goodness, the crowd. My God, did they hear that even from outside? And now dragging Carter into the rope. And oh, busting him open. My goodness. And launching him again to that turnbuckle. And now with the forearm. My God, that's probably up enough to cut even more. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget that our pay-per-view is coming up this Sunday. La Guerra Mundial 3. Order it now on pay-per-view or call your local cable provider. Now going back out and wait, Jose Carter recognizes the move. To be honest, that was completely dumb from Tommy Vice. I mean, he, he did it once. What what made you think that this guy wouldn't, you know, learn? But that's good that Jose Carter. Oh, oh, that's not good. Good that Jose Carter was learning. I mean, like I said, the first matchup against a veteran like this, he's got a lot to learn. And we're sure to see that strike coming. You know, another pin from Tommy Vice, and it goes for a two count. So arrogant here tonight. I'm pretty sure this man thinks that he really is really gonna win this match considering the years he's got on Jose Carter. And a reversal by Jose Carter right there. Ooh, spinning forearm to Tommy Vice knocking him down and gosh I don't know how you could even see right now with all the blood in his face. And he's gonna do a suplex and throw him outside. Ooh. Look, we got the pads out there and all that, but that floor still hurts like hell. The Mexico crowd really practicing that English with the perfect Fire Forever chance. Now picking up Tommy Vice and throwing him back into the ring. Raph counting all the way up to four. Both men got back in successfully. And now, a brain buster. Oh, and Tommy Vice getting lucky. The ropes were near him and he had his feet on them. What a nice brain buster done by Jose Carter. Brain buster. He then made a famous move by Jose's father, Brian the Brain Carter. And my goodness, I thought that could have been it. It would have impressed him for this young man to not only win his first match, but also to win it with his dad's finisher maneuver. And now going outside, but what is he gonna do on the apron? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. No, no, oh my God! A sunset oh, on the apron. Oh my goodness, this man's gonna have a concussion. I don't care, I don't. I don't care how many years it got on you. That's gotta hurt like hell. The Ole chance by the crowd here in Lucha Libre and Miguel. And now the elbow drop to the back. And now look at Jose Carter with it. Oh my god. Is he gonna go for a cover or what is he thinking? Come on. You've done enough. Like this could really backfire on you. Such a dead gun right here. Yeah, the frog splash to Tommy Vice. The crowd even up. Cover one, two, and three. Oh my god. The rookie, Jose Carter, beating Tommy Vice. 
el ganador de esta lucha, el dragón de América, José Carter. What a great win to Jose Carter, and hopefully we get to see more of this kid. This kid's got a bright future. Ladies and gentlemen, again, do not forget, Guerra Mundial this Sunday. Order your tickets now or order the pay-per-view. Thank you for tuning in. Well, have a good night. Did you see me out there? I, I, I tore the house down for sure. I mean, did you not hear the crowd? The crowd was feeling it. The crowd was loving it. They were cheering for me. I gave them a good match. I'm so worn out, but... Wait, where, where's dad? Mom?